What is the U.S. immigration process for individuals with refugee or asylee status? The U.S. immigration process for individuals with refugee or asylee status involves several steps. Here is a general overview of the process. Application for refugee or asylum status. To start the process, an individual must be physically present in the United States and apply for refugee or asylee status. Refugees apply for protection while outside the U. While those already in the U. Can apply for asylum. Applications are submitted to the U. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, or, in some cases, to the U. Department of State. Interview and adjudication. After submitting the application, the applicant will be scheduled for an interview with an asylum officer or immigration officer. During the interview, the applicant will be required to provide information about their claim for refugee or asylum status. The officer will evaluate the credibility of the claim and make a decision. Biometric collection. Following a successful interview, the applicant will be required to undergo biometric collection, which typically involves fingerprinting and photographs. This information is used for security checks and to create identity documents. Background checks. The applicant's background will be thoroughly checked by various U. Government agencies, including the FBI, Department of Homeland Security, and other intelligence agencies. This process is conducted to ensure the applicant does not pose a security risk. Medical examination, applicants are required to undergo a medical examination to assess their overall health and to identify any communicable diseases. This examination is performed by a designated panel physician approved by the U. Government Resettlement and placement Once the applicant's refugee or asylee status is approved, they may be eligible for resettlement in the United States. Resettlement agencies, such as the International Organization for Migration, IOM, or non-profit organizations, assist with the placement of refugees in various communities across the country. Asylees are not subject to resettlement, as they are already in the United States. Regarding the U. Visa process, it is important to note that refugees and asylees go through a separate process, as described above. However, if you are referring to the general visa process for non-refugees or asylees, it involves different categories, such as immigrant visas, permanent residence, and non-immigrant visas, temporary stay. The specific requirements and procedures vary depending on the type of visa being sought, such as family-based, employment-based, student, tourist, or business visas. For detailed information about specific visa categories and the corresponding application processes, it is recommended to visit the official website of the U. Department of State's Bureau of Consular Affairs, Travel State Gov or consult with an immigration attorney for personalized guidance. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.